Okay, it's Simon Kensington here, and in this, um, what I hope will be a pretty quick video, I'm going to try and cover the, or the easiest way that I, or method that I use for setting up um, local business sites with their location pages. Now, there are a big caveat about this is, um, you know, whichever way you go, you can get things to rank. You just might need to work a little harder or a little um, you know, less hard, depending on what the competition is. There isn't really one definitive do this method. It's really a case of trying to simplify the, myri the, the myriad of different ways that you can go about this. Um, and typically what you're doing is you're creating silos um, or topical clusters or buckets of content to be able to get that relevance from your website and also pick up the relevance from your GMB. So, and again, depending on how your GMB is set up really depends on how, uh, how you set your site up. Whether or not you have an exact match domain, a partial match domain, and so on and so forth, really depends on how you set the site up. So with all those caveats being said, the main ones being if you have a GMB and you have multiple locations, then it's best to have multiple location pages and each of those GMBs should link to the location page on your website. If you have one GMB but you service a number of different areas, then usually the best practice is to link your GMB to your homepage. And then on your home page you have a summary of the services and the areas that you cover so that your home page is effectively a landing page for your GMB. So what you're saying within your GMB is matched with what you're saying on your home page. So if you've got a, um, a, a really minimalistic, um, kind of fancy, eye-catching uh, looking home page where there's not a great deal of content then it's really difficult if you're using that as the landing page for your GMB for Google to see that you've got any relevance to the GMB theme at all in terms of niche or location. So it is a good idea to include on your homepage if you're using it as your GMB landing page uh, geo, com uh, geo information and uh, niche information. Uh, so that's that caveat and then the other caveat really is about the domain name and whether you're using a branded domain, an exact match domain or a partial match domain. Now one of the things that you want to avoid in your URL structure is over optimization. So if you've got an exact match or a partial match and then you start adding more services and geolocations that are repeating what's in your domain name in your URL, then you're asking for trouble. So if you have a partial match or an exact match domain, whether it's uh, partial or exact on the niche or the location, then you want to keep your location pages really simple. Um, the other thing uh, to say on that is you also want to make sure that your domains are as short as possible in terms of the URL length. You want to keep your pages as close to the root as you can. So using lots of uh, silos where you're using a folder structure and you've got you know, maybe a folder for your services and then maybe you've got different sorts of services so those are in another folder and then there's a geolocation that's in another folder and you've got all these nested folders you end up with a huge long URL where the actual document that you want to rank is way down the priority list you've got to navigate or Google has to crawl through several directories folders before it gets to the page you want to rank. So try and avoid overly complicated uh, URL structures where you're using lots of folders. So here's my uh, kind of five minute guide to a uh, fairly simple method which is fairly foolproof for setting up the location pages and the pages that you need on a local business. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want pages, uh, and this is just a test site, a dummy site, um, you're going to want pages that match the primary category and the subcategory 
that you have selected in your GMB. So in this instance, this is a decorating company, painting and decorating. These are the services that they offer. And so you should have a page dedicated to each of these and it should be in exactly the page uh, URL and that should be exactly the way that it's written in your GMB. So those are going to be your, uh, your base service pages because they will then give relevance to your website um, from your GMB and your GMB will and your website will reinforce that relevance with your, uh, your GMB. The second thing that you want to do is you want to create pages for the locations that you serve. So if we do um, go to Google Maps here just quickly and let's just throw in my local town, the nearest small town is Thrapston. Now I am uh, in a fairly rural area in the UK where we have lots of small rural towns and villages. This is a fairly big town, um, but even that is small. Northampton is probably the biggest town. So the rest of these are fairly small areas. The ones of note really around here are going to be things like um, Corby, Kettering, Wellingborough, Aundor, those sorts of things, and Thrapston itself. So these are, you know, tiny little villages. Maybe there's 60 or 80 houses or something daft like that. So when you're picking out your location pages, the, the areas, it really depends on how your area is set up. If you're in a fairly big town or city centre type location where you've got the towns broken up into different neighbourhoods or different areas, you know, downtown, industrial district, business district, whatever it might be, and those have got names, then you can use those as separate landing pages. In my uh, situation here, we'll have one for Thrapston, uh, one for Kettering, and then we'll do one for um, somewhere else. But you get the point. So you need to you need to pick your area pages really by you know how big the areas are and you know and you can get an idea of what the neighborhoods or what google recognizes the neighborhoods to be by the names that they have sometimes they match the same town names sometimes they're just different areas that they're highlighting and so you know you need to do a bit of research around this is why i like uh, mass pages for local, where you you know pick out thirty or forty of these you know smaller uh, towns or cities or villages rather, and you just create a page specific to that page, and this is the same principle if you wanted to go down that route. So go here to our uh, site. As you can see, we've got the basics that we need on any site. You always need to have a home page, about a contact page. Um, a blog's a good idea, even if you don't have much in the way of content, you just use it for supporting content rather than uh, blogging in the traditional way, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then you have your privacy policies, um, terms of service, and uh, two privacy policies there. That probably should be a GDPR um, type policy. So you've got the basic pages that a somebody who's looking at the um, quality raters guidelines that Google produces, you're, you're covering your bases and that's helpful for EAT as well, your expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness. So there's the kind of the basic structure that you need to have on your site. And so we can create a new site, a new page rather, and the first one is going to be painter and decorator. So this is the first um, deck. That's going to be the first um, page, and we can um, we'll come on to the various different headings and things uh, later. 
maybe in another video. So we'll just publish that. And then we want a new page. And so however many of these, so we've got tile contractor. So this is So those are my um, my service pages that match my Google My Business. Now, if they're what you can do, then is you can then start using your on-page signals and content to adapt this page to something that matches closer, because Google the, the categories in Google aren't always as accurate as, um, or not as accurate, as close as, as what you might call the, the naming convention. So you might need to do a bit of tweaking with the content of the H1s and the H2s, etc., so that you can kind of localize it to what your market calls. But having these pages on here is a, a really good start. And then the next thing we want to do is start having our location pages. So we're going to have a, another page and our location page is going to be Thrapston and that's it and then uh, the next page will be uh, let's say Woodford publish and we'll do one more of Kettering Okay, so uh, I've just added the items and I'm just going to sort them out. So I've created a custom navigation for location and one called services and then I'm just going to start putting these under, um, so let's put them in alphabetical order and then services go under here. services and we've got our locations now on the services it's just a link that goes nowhere so when we click on this you can see that we've got our domain and then we've got the service and on a location you can see that we've got um, this now then to what you then want to do on these pages is on your service pages you then want to do your research as to what content you need to put on a drywall contractor and I would use a combination of Cora and Page Optimizer Pro to figure out what my content should be by analyzing my competition um, or as I like to do with local I just go to you know like a London um, painter and decorator and see you know, what it is that they're doing because if they're ranking highly in one of the big cities then it's likely that that's a good strategy to adopt even in a smaller area. So however you get that information you then want to make sure that you're adding in on here all the information about this. I wouldn't put any geo information on here at all. This is all about establishing your presence as a drywall contractor. Now it might be that there are 
situations where you need to create supporting content for this page. Maybe that supporting content is where drywall contractor isn't uh, necessarily the only term that's used. Maybe there's a different term that's used. And so you want to mention that different term in your article and then you create another supporting document which is just specifically about that topic and links back to you know, this page, so adding relevance to that. And then by using those terms strategically in your H1s, H2s, H3s, H4s, the bullet points, um, and so on and so forth, your bold and emphasis tags, you can create a very comprehensive document all about the service. So you do that for the, all the other services. And then on your home, on your uh, location page, you essentially, you just create um, sections. And so, and depending, you know, how you set this up is entirely up to you. But one of the sections that you want to create is geo information. So you want to add lots of content about the area. So this, in this place, it's going to be Kettering. So a lot of the information I'm going to put on here is going to be about Kettering. Then the other thing you want to do is you want to add information about the services that you offer in the Kettering area. And so that is going to be the services that you have in your other area, you know, in your services. So again, do it the same as you would uh, as they're listed in here. So as a drywall contractor, tile contractor, doesn't matter what order you put them in, obviously. Contractor and then there was plasterer. And so you know these would be uh, H2s. funky looking um, theme. So that would be H2 and this would be an H2. And then your geo information, so this would be all about Kettering. And that would be an H2. And then you know you would have information about Kettering. Uh, maybe that information includes some testimonials or reviews from people who are in Kettering, uh, information about you know, some of the local areas, maybe you've got um, contracts with companies in that area or whatever, so whatever information goes under there. And then you do a summary of your, basically of your location page. So you rewrite a summary of your location page. and that gives you so it gives you the content for this page. Now what I have seen is some people will use the sidebar for all of the um, local information. They'll have a sidebar and it will have in that sidebar it will have loads of information about the location. So the last thing you want to put on here is a you want to embed Now if you've got a bricks and mortar business where you've got an address that you're showing in Google Maps, then you want to embed driving directions. If you haven't got a fixed address if you, that you're showing, if you've got a service area business, then you just want to um, embed the, the GMB. Embed the GMB map. You can even, if you're using the uh, GMB websites, you can even embed that as an iframe on the page. Lots of different things that you can do. Um, with the driving directions, um, what you can do is pull out you know, half a dozen or more different points around the, um, the perimeter and different strategic places within the area of the town. So you've got multiple driving directions on one map. Um, that could be pretty handy. And again, you know, if you're putting information in here, and you're talking about local areas, local monuments, local places of interest, 
local hotels, local bars, local shops, local car parks, all those kind of things, then those ones that are unique to this location, you can actually include those in your driving directions. So you're um, validating the information that you've put here by including them in the driving directions. So that's you know, really all that you need uh, to do on your location pages. And if you have um, if you have a GMB that's got a separate location, as I said before, you can use this as the landing page. Uh, the other thing that you can do with this is similar to what I mentioned with the service pages, and that is add supporting content. So if you're in a particularly tricky niche, um, then it might be a good idea to create four or five sub pages, supporting pages, all about Kettering and those pages will then link to this uh, page and those you might have a page on hotels, a page on places to visit, a page on um, bars and restaurants, a page on shops, that kind of thing and then each of those pages will link back to this page and you can use anchors on here to link back to those so that there's that uh, internal link juice. So you can either, my favourite way of doing it is you have your five supporting articles, um, each one of those articles links to each other in a chain and then each one links back to this page. So you're really sending that relevance there. And then when you're thinking about doing backlinks and things, you can send backlinks that are relevant, you know, local uh, citations or local blogs and that you can send that, those links to your sub pages pushing that relevancy through into your location page. So that's how the easy way of setting up these pages works incredibly well with GMBs um, and uh, you know you can use this in a mass page way if you want and uh, if you're not using it in a mass page then to that uh, actual extent then it works perfectly well for cherry picking your, for your locations to be able to um, be able to rank for these terms but locally you know under the so you're going to be able to to rank for uh, Kettering painter and director and um, Kettering drywall contractor and so on and so forth and then you've got your uh, on the home page that and then on your home page you will have your a combination of your kind of bit of an information, a bit of introduction to the business. You have your call to action above the fold, and then you have uh, your list of services. So I would put those as a bullet point, and they would be an H2 bullet point. Um, and then I would also have you know, areas served as another section on the home page. And again, in H2s, I would list the areas that I've got in my location pages. And you can link those um, you know, to these pages if you want. But you are adding relevance throughout the site for all of these uh, services and locations. So I hope you found that helpful. That was uh, my quick introduction on how to set up your local business sites to make most advantage of maps and local rankings.